Yo, 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 what's up tankers and welcome back to your favorite club. In today's video, I will be talking about the Emil 1951. This tank is right now available in the store. We can get it for 8.5k of gold, which is pretty expensive in my opinion for this tank. This tank is nothing else than the Emil 1. In point of design, it's copy paste, just they gave it the legendary camouflage. And the Emil 1951, this tank got just a bit better mobility and a better gun with a better penetration. And that's it. The Emil 1 for that, it's of course uh, got better armor, that's why uh, less a bit less mobility. And this tank got also less penetration. I don't know why normally actually most of the Tech 3 tanks got an insane, heavy tanks got the insane penetration. They nerfed it on the Emil 1 and this tank got only 254 of penetration with calibrated shells using premium shells. That's really pretty weak. And that's why they gave more penetration for the Emil 1951 and better mobility just maybe to, to sell it a lot if this tank come to the store right now, like right now. Um, but if, yeah, I'm still a big fan of the Emil 1. It's better. Also, if you have a look at my twin rate, 66% wound rate after 86 battles and with the Emil 1951, yeah, poor 52% wound rate. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I would keep playing a bit more battles, I will maybe reach maybe 58%, 68%, but never a good wound rate like with my Emil 1 because this tank just have what we need for a heavy tank. Armor. We need armor. This tank don't have armor and that's why in my opinion, yeah, it's a special tank. It's a heavy tank with no armor at all. Actually, if you are playing against tier 8 and tier 9, everyone will pen you. Whatever. Medium, light, heavy, TD. Everyone will pen you, okay? The only tanks who have problems are tier 7 lights and mediums. Maybe they will struggle a bit to penetrate your frontal armor. But for that, this tank got mobility. So it's really a special tank. Um, yeah, should we go for it or not? We will see now in this video here. Or I hope that I will help you after watching the whole video if this tank fits your playstyle and if you just go, should go for this tank or just pass it. So this tank got 310 of alpha damage with a pretty good gun, with a pretty good penetration, absolutely. We got 21.5 seconds of roll time. The Emil 1 got 10 more hit points, so dam damage, alpha damage and 22.5 uh, seconds reload time and the, uh, both of them got three shots in the magazine and three seconds intro clip between every shot three seconds that's mean we can deal in six seconds something about nearly 1k of damage then we have a long reload time of 22 seconds roundabout um, yeah, so the Emil 1 got the better mobility, so we have here an insane 31 km per hour of average speed, an insane rotation also for a heavy tank nearly 40 degrees per second, and as we can see there, just a lack of armor, 81.5 of average armor, it's really not that good for a tier 8 heavy tank, we're going to have a closer look at the armor of this tank, inspecting it with the armor inspector. Yeah, consumables, we have here no special consumables, like for example the Emil 1, we have here this insane improved engine power boost, we have the retired calibration, it's not the case for this tank, we got only the engine power boost, the normal one, and I'm going for safety first, going for two repair kits or this multi-purpose restoration pack. I'm running with calibrated shells to have really an insane penetration, 284 uh, Penetration for using calibrated shells and for the premium shells, the refined gun, enhanced gun laying drive, enhanced armor just to try to maximize our armor, but it's really anyway hopeless for this tank, the armor is really trash. And improved optics, engine accelerator, and the consumable delivery system. So far so good, now let's check out this uh, armor of this tank and then we are going to jump straight to the battlefield to show you what can we perform with this vehicle on the battlefield and how to drive the Emil 1951, the tier 8 premium Swedish heavy tank. This is why exactly I don't like this vehicle. So using enhanced armor, facing an Yindin Panzer guys, it's a tier 8 medium tank with average damage, this tank here can just pen 
my hull, my turret, everywhere using just normal shells and running without calibrated shells, okay? Okay, if you think, okay, I'm gonna go hull down using my weak two degrees of depression, okay, like this, that's still no problem. A, B, C, R shells, here we go, still pinnable. And we don't have this problem playing with the normal Emil 1, the texture 1. Let's just change it very fast. Here we go. This is the arm of the Emil 1. Same position, same tank, using APCR, okay? So, uh, yeah, I mean, the Emil 1 got just the better armor, okay? Here, also on flat ground, if faced to enemies using uh, APCR shells, we will be also pinned, but as you saw at that point, going hull down like this <clears throat> we are just unpinnable for the most of the tier 8 tier 7 heavies mediums and lights okay of course tier 80 d's they will pin us and tier 90 d's now let's go back to the email 1951 so the armor is just trash and that's it i i can't say anything else everyone will pen you if you are lucky enough and uh, i don't know you wiggle a bit your your turret you confuse the enemy maybe they will by mistake aim on that part on that part but as we can see there i mean we are just everywhere pinnable if we angle yes we have a chance to block some if the enemy is not using apc air shells but again if the enemy even without running with uh, calibrated shells using IPCR, here we go, we are everywhere, pinnable again, okay, so I'm gonna just save your time, I'm not going to talk about tier 8 heavies and tier 7 heavies and tier 9 and tier 8 ds they're gonna all penetrate us, the only tanks that will not penetrate us and will struggle a lot to pen us are just the tier 7 mediums and lights, and that's it, the rest, forget it, everyone will pen you, here we go. We got, here, we, we got here just 233. That means, I don't know, tier 7 heavies using uh, premium shells will pen you as well. So, okay, so even a tier 7 medium, I thought they will not penetrate us. They're also able to pen us even if we are using calibrated shells and even if we are also going hull down. Okay, so yeah, that's, uh, that's why I don't like this tank. We don't have a bit of armor. If we are just lucky, we'll, we will block something, okay? If angling, if, look at this, even angling a tier 7 medium using premium shells will pen us, okay? Only if you're running with normal shells, we will have again a chance to block some damage, only. Yeah, it's all up to you. I don't know, guys, but I'm just the biggest fan of this tank, especially because of this armor this armor <laughs> um yeah so i'm going here to the middle of the map because i'm seeing that my meds are right there not even my meds two tds and one med going medium side so i'm sneaking my first shot on that amx m449 here we go i missed my first shell but now i bent him twice i'm trying to use this obstacle to hide my my turret and then roll back but he still managed to bend me as we can see there even I was showing my frontal turret to the enemy. I'm seeing that the T-34-2 is rushing like a stupid dude to the middle of the map, exposing his back for me. But I will wait here because I'm still seeing that my teammates that are behind me right there. And it's gonna be also enemy stupid to rush on the enemy alone. Enemy armor is damaged. Wiggle, here we go. Enemy Move armor. forward, backwards, so that the enemy missed his shot, and he missed it. And with that, I destroy that T-34-2, who rushed to the middle of the map. So, as we can see here, it's all about uh, positioning your vehicle, or sorry, positioning your vehicle. There is not positioning; it's a wrong word I was using the whole time. Um, positioning your vehicle in the right spot and do the right move. And while reloading, you have to decide if you should camp or wait or just relocate while uh, reloading. That you should use that sometimes also that long reload time, that one didn't go 22 through. seconds to relocate or sometimes also to stay at the same spot like I did after destroying that T-34-2. Just have your your eyes on the minimap or one eye on the minimap, one eye on the battlefield. Uh, so that you know where are you driving, you know where are exactly the enemies, and that you do the 
quite moves to do damage maximum of damage and of course for that to win more battles while playing with this vehicle oh we blocked we blocked the shot from the standard b i can't believe it a tier 9 medium wasn't able to pin me but it's really so rare to block damage with this tank and in my opinion it's just luck or you are just playing against uh, not skilled players every time i face the emil 1951 on the battlefield i was able to pin him if i wasn't sure i just take my premium shells and it's gonna be an easy penetration and here we go with that going in this battle for 3.3k of damage so as we can see here it's not a terrible tank it's but in my opinion there is just better tanks in the game there is uh, the emil one and there is of course plenty a bunch of tier 8 heavy tank secretary ones or premium ones which are just better than this one but still a solid tank a good heavy tank we can perform with it as we can see here good battle do do a lot of damage if we just know how to drive it and we know the weakness and the strength of this vehicle the next situation gonna be in yamato harbor and i'm going again to the medium side not because i'm a fan of medium side but just because my whole team is going medium side and i shouldn't just uh, yeah go yolo alone to the heavy side of course it's a it's a sin to go uh, medium side with a heavy tank but of course we should also always have a look at the minimap and don't be that stupid and go alone heavy side if your whole team is going medium side or, or also if your whole team is still camping so don't be the one you think no i'm brave i'm the bravest one i'm gonna rush alone you will be finished if your team is camping camp with them no problem it is how it is sometimes we have teams like that in this game so now let's finish oh i was too late but let's finish the tvp maybe three seconds of intro clip it's a bit too long but still can do the job if you are close enough to the enemy because sometimes you, you know that problem with that long intro clip a lot of time you are staying there and now you think yes i can shoot him then he just hide again and then that's why three seconds is a bit too long i prefer playing with mediums like the tvp or with lights like the bad chat or the defender mk1 which have just uh, two seconds of intro clip reward time that's really pretty decent but it's a heavy tank not a medium so the t29 exposing his hull for me and i'm stupid enough to miss my shot but now i'm gonna give him another one no then just roll back again the T29, by the way, is still an insane uh, vehicle, an insane tier 7 heavy tank. Just go for it. If you have the opportunity to go for it, I can really uh, recommend you to go for, th for this tank. You got an insane gun depression, a strong turret. The only weak spot of the tank is the hull. But if you know how to play with it, not like that dude. Whoa! Amorak, baby, some content. We've damaged them! So yeah, going already for 3 point, nearly 4k of damage in this battle and now we have this long bullet time, the T29 trying to push on me but I will risk it, I mean I have anyway hit points, I just gonna tease him to think I'm gonna fall back then go out again, and now let's finish this dude, please don't steal my kill, thanks guys. Going in this battle for 4k of damage thanks to that Amorak that was unexpected, but yeah. This is how we should play with this tank, how I'm playing with it, and I think it's just the standard normal gameplay which everyone should play with this tank. You are not going to go completely first line, okay, because we have no armor at the same time. If you fire your three shells after that, we have a long bullet time. So we're going to play second line and even sometimes use the mobility to relocate and go somewhere else. Second line from distance. If possible, sometimes, if you are sure that you are going to finish the enemy, you can rush on an enemy um, and finish him. Yeah, it depends always on the situation, and that's what I tried to show you here in this video. Two different battles and uh, two yeah, different situations, a bit different playstyle, but uh, in general, all around, that's how we are going to play with this tank, like in those two battles that I showed you here. In this video and with that we arrived to the end of this video guys i hope you enjoyed watching it if you should go for this tank or not it's all up to you now but um i still have my opinion and i would say 
if you want to collect all the tanks in the game like me, you can go for this tank. If you are thinking to get a tank, which will help you to grind your win rate or the tank, a competitive tank for tournaments, I would say no, it's not worth it, it's not worth the price. There is much more better tier 8 heavy tanks in this game, whatever, tech 3 tanks or premium tanks. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new watching my content, and see you soon in the next one guys, bye bye. Yeah.